It's time to meet our first guest in the new year. If you're a foodie, you know these sisters. Their posts often go viral on social media. They explore the best restaurants in New England and beyond. And they are here live today. Sarah, Madison, Carly, and Julia from Sisters Snacking are in the building. Welcome. Hi. Hi. So you guys are CT natives, which I absolutely love, but I'm curious to know how this started because I think we all love to explore new restaurants and try new things. But at what point did you say, okay, let's build something and kind of take everybody along on the ride? Well, it kind of was a full journey. It started in 2015. Madison was a huge Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives fan. We would go to random spots in Connecticut and up in New England to go look at restaurants that were on the show. And we were both in college in 2015, and we just decided to make a place that all the photos that we were capturing from different restaurants were livable. Mm -hmm. So we made an Instagram. It was never anticipated to be a, a full-time business, but in the pandemic, during COVID, we were all home in Connecticut. We decided to post on TikTok, which was a newer platform at the time. We were doing Connecticut takeout reviews. We mm -hmm. were doing cooking classes. We were doing a lot of recipes at home. And we kind of grew from there. And then it just pu pulled like way ahead in the last, <laughs> you know, yeah. four years. It, and it's something that's really crazy, too, because everybody that I talk to, if they're recommending a good restaurant to me, they will recommend it because they saw it on your page, which I think is the most exciting part. And a lot of restaurants that you introduce people to, like in Connecticut specifically, I, I've never even heard of them before. So it must be exciting for you to not only take people to these restaurants, but maybe introduce them to something that they never would have tried before. Yeah, I'm obviously, you know, being from Connecticut, we love to share the wealth and we want to spread uh, the recommendations to our fellow Connecticuters. Is that a word? We'll make it a word. We'll make it a word. Um, but we have so many places that are tried and true for us. You know, growing up in Glastonbury, we have so many places we love, but we also want to find those hidden gems that a lot of people don't know about. Mm -hmm. And that's where I think people love following us for. And as you said, people get so many recommendations from us and yeah. we just want to continue to do that, especially in our home state. And what I love too is you'll always let us know if it's like living up to the hype, right? There's so oh, many yeah. places that you hear about on social media and you're like, I gotta go. And I think there are some like, you know, in New York City especially, you're like, eh, oh, yeah. not necessarily worth it. Or this is a must try. So it's not just New England, you're going beyond that, right? So, so talk about those travels and what that looks like and maybe how you identify some of the restaurants that you wanna visit. Yeah, well, we definitely travel beyond Connecticut. Sarah lives in Boston. We live in New York, Julie's up at Syracuse, so mm -hmm. we try and cover as much food and as much ground as possible. I think our goal is to find the best food wherever we go. Mm -hmm. um, luckily this year I was able to spend two months in Asia and just look for all the food there. Yeah. We also went to... Um, and I followed where, oh, her. I went to Thailand oh, yeah, she went to, Thailand. to go really? eat the places she ate yes. at. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And I was like, you need this one bite, like mango sticky rice we talk about a lot. <laughs> um, went to Italy, but we travel all over because we just want to be a guide and resource for all things food. So wherever we go, we're looking for it. I know this year we're planning... Julie's going to be studying in Florence, so we're already planning oh my a God. big family vacation. Breaking into the European market. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> we're all going to be going to Paris because we booked Taylor Swift tickets in Paris in May and go to London. So, yeah, um, we just try and explore as much great food as possible. And I think picking the restaurants, mm -hmm. I think that's where we've gotten to be so, like, I guess, talented at is trying to weed through all the different options and right. making sure we're going somewhere that we think would be up to our standards. And then finally, it might be impossible, but is there a way to pick the best bite of 2023? I mean, what are your thoughts? It was a good eating year. <laughs> yeah. It was a really good year of eats. <laughs> Maybe we narrow it down to Connecticut, you know? Let's do it to Connecticut. Yeah, yeah. why not? I think one of our favorite restaurants is actually in our hometown of Glastonbury uh, called Brico Trattoria and our favorite bite at Brigo, I'd have to say, is the Bianco pie, mm. which has a bunch of different cheeses. It's like ricotta, goat cheese, mm -hmm. and it's layered with pistachios, truffle honey. The truffle honey. Uh, it's Love it. Amazing. Yeah, I got to give a shout out to Billy Grant, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But we've grown up going There's there. There's more. Yeah. There's some more. Yeah. Food. Well, also, we can't shout out pizza without talking about New Haven. Of course. Yes. Sally's. 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 But we did really like Barb this year. Yeah. yeah. The classic cheese there. I think over in that area... We are obsessed with pop-up bagels. They started it's in Connecticut. It's so good. Yep. So good. They, they came took to my York wedding. City by yeah. storm. They yes. came to Madison's wedding. So we love yes. pop-up bagels. And now they have New York City. Or like Now they've expanded there. So and Florida. And Florida. I think they're opening in Boston soon. Yeah, but it's so amazing that it came out of Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And every time we eat it, we can't believe how good it is. We actually learned for Thanksgiving, he gave us these frozen pucks. And we boiled them and baked them Thanksgiving morning. Ooh. 
Um, and it was so good. It was phenomenal. Yeah, I love that. And I guess, I mean, might as well round, round out yeah. Connecticut fights with some grinders. Yep. Connecticut grinders, we get a lot of uh, heat, I guess, from everyone outside of Connecticut <laughs> for calling them grinders, but... They're um, grinders. Yep. We have a couple top places. We love Claudia's. We I love just Weathers went there Field. this past oh, weekend because I saw it on your page. And it was good. amazing. So yeah, good. I got the oh, chicken so cutlet. Thin. So thin. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. beautiful. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I hate to say it, but we are out of time. Very oh, wow. quickly, if people can follow you on social media, where can they go? Sister, Sister Snacking. Snacking. Awesome. Thank we, you guys so much. It was such a pleasure to meet you. We you. really appreciate your time, and I look forward to seeing where you're traveling to next.